Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the shooting line in terms of where to attach it to the spear. Many years ago when I first started, this was the attachment point ahead of the knot. Then we saw guys in Europe connecting it to the rear of the spear as is in this spear. This can be whether you're using Dyneema or Mono, it's, it's immaterial. For this exercise, we're just gonna use the knotted Dyneema. The advantage out of Europe at the time, having it at the back, was twofold. Um, one, if you shoot a fish that runs into the reef, you're much more able to retrieve that spear back and get it untangled. Whereas, if that spear goes around a corner and you're hauling back, that's going to tee off against a rock. You're going to lose your fish and your spear. So there's a big plus there. In our waters, we have a lot of sharks. The other plus of this is you can retrieve that spear back through the fish. If you happen to fire it right through, the fish then slides down and is stopped by the barb and the shark comes along and bites your fish. He's going to bite against the spear may damage the spear or you may just rip it off and you get your spear back. Whereas if the fish is teed off in this zone, that shark's going to bite your shooting line. Depending on the conditions, depending on the water, it's very possible that spear dropping away will get lost. So there's pros and cons. There's another chain of thought with the lines being ahead. Some guys like to have a short loop. This keeps it on the top side all the time. The disadvantage of that is when it's going through the muzzle, this knot will be on top, whether it's a knot or a crimp. And they'll try and get through the muzzle simultaneously. A crimp can actually damage your muzzle over time. Personally, I used to always prefer it such that it can fold over the back. For hydrodynamics, this will make it travel through the water a lot better, even more so with everything trailing behind. Big disadvantage of this is the notches. A fish in a cave can slap around and shear that off. You're now going to be left with just this little stub. Um, is a disadvantage. At the moment, I'd say 99% of all of our spears are at the back. We do offer this as an optional extra. We've reintroduced this mainly for the roller guns. Getting these lines ahead of your wishbone notch where your rubber is means this line is free floating on the gun. It's much less likely to get fouled in the rollers. Whereas this version, your wishbone with the rubber is going to trap this in it and it's much more likely for that to be held in place and get entangled with your roller rubbers. This is similar to a muzzle wrap but in general they come out so you don't even notice that you've had a muzzle wrap. Uh, it hooks in the rubber, destroys your accuracy, slows the spear down and pulls free. You won't even notice that that's happening. So we found best for rollers is actually to have it ahead of the notch so that while it's been driven down the rail, this all lifts up and follows out without entangling with the rubbers. We have introduced fin spears and we do have the option of having a hole in one of the fins. In that case, the guys tend to make it very short. It stays on top. You've already got a raised fin anyway, so that trailing behind isn't going to be a problem. The advantage of having it on top too is when you're loading, you can hold that line and haul it into the cassette. The cassette itself, some brands of cassettes only have enough aperture for the spear itself. So if you put the line at the back, you're not going to get it in. Most of the Euro guns, as well as ours, are designed to enable the line to go into the cassette at the same time. And that actually stabilizes the spear as well. So many pros, many cons. You guys decide what you think is best. I hope you enjoyed that video. So, I must give a shout out to Tok. He gave us the footage of the fish showing how the spears can get damaged. Please follow him on his social media. We'll share that link below.
Drop! What the f*** is this? Big fish, eh? What the f*** is this?